Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is SK5208 Test 59, Gentex Mini Sounders. To start coming down here, we have the Gamewell M69-5, single action key locking pull station. Coming up, we have the Gentex GX90S-4-15-75 WR. And this is a two wire mini sounder with a 1575 cam dollar strobe. And uh, because this is two wire and does not work on Gentex sync when I hit silence, the strobe will come off as well. Over here we have another Gentex GX90S-4-1575WB. This is the white version. And this will be doing the same thing. Uh, both these will be running on continuous again because they are two wire. Doing a high frequency sound with a 1575 candle horn strip. Coming down here, we have the Cerberus Pyrotronics MSM-INST institutionalized key operated only fire alarm pole station. Over here, we have the EST-278 dual action pole station. We'll be pulling this today. Up here, it's an oldie but a goodie. We have a Simplex 2099, oops, sorry, 2098-9577 ionization smoke detector, and we will be saber testing this today. There's the LED going. Still works, a little slow, but still going. Over here, we have the Gentex Commander 2 75 candela version. This is a fixed candela strobe flashing at 75 candela. And then coming down here, we have the good old Firelight BG12L key locking dual action pull station by Firelight Alarms. And I see we are still in walk test. Let's get rid of that from the enunciator. System normal. Awesome. All right, let's start with the game well pull. Here we go in three, two, one. We'll silence that both the strobe and the sounder turn off, but the Gentech strobe continues to flash. So let's go ahead and reset the pull. So to do that, we put our key, our Cat 60 game well key in and turn. Take a small tool, hit the button, push the slider plate down past the button. Whole plate comes off. Put the plate back on, slide it back over the button, and take the key out. And we will go ahead and reset the panel from the key test. So I can pull out the key. There it is. Oh, because that's the wrong key. That is the stopper key. We want the A135 key. And panel resets. Come up over here. And we'll wait for the panel to reset. And then we'll go ahead and key operate the institutionalized pull. Waiting for the panel. Okay, I think we are reset, so we will go ahead and do the T45 key. So key in, turn, and open. we got the panel alarm we can go ahead and pull the EST pull over here so we'll go ahead and pull it in three two one
reset this, we'll take our cat 45, switch down, fold the flaps back in, up, and then lock. Silence from the external silencer, and then we'll go ahead and reset from the panel. Then we'll come over to the firelight pole. Here at the enunciator, we'll wait till we get a system normal on the enunciator. And there we go. And we'll go ahead and pull the firelight. Here we go. In three, two, one. Go ahead and silence the panel. The one strobe continues to flash. We will get my firelight key. There it is. And reset, you just turn key and open close, and that's it. And we'll go ahead and reset from the enunciator. And we will get ready to do the smoke detector. We'll go ahead and take a peek inside the panel. We haven't done that in a while. See, nothing totally special in the panel. Just, uh, oh, that relay's new. I hooked it up to, I have all my panels hooked up to an emergency stop system. So if I hit the button, it'll shut down all the panels at once. Uh, mainly so if there's any sort of issues with water or anything while I'm not home, someone else who can't quickly find all the keys to get into the panel and pull everything can hit the e-stop. You can see my simplex went out. There goes the door. And it will shut off 120 volt AC to all my panels. And then I'm, I got a couple more uh, buttons to then hook up all the battery terminals so that each panel will have its own battery. And then we'll go ahead and turn the e-stop and all of our AC comes back. But we will go ahead and do the saber testing. There's our smoke saber. We'll point it up here. This might take a minute because this can be kind of a finicky detect. Oh, I don't like that glare. I got a new phone and I don't like that glare. We're just, okay, that's fine. Okay, and we will go ahead and do it. That's more more than enough, but we'll see. We'll go ahead and silence for the panel and we'll wait for the uh, smoke to clear out of the chamber a little bit. Um, if you guys go to my eBay, uh, my eBay store, the link's in the description of all my videos as well as pinned on my channel. I have boxes and boxes of devices at multiple boxes of lots of new devices, used devices um, that I'm selling. Very flexible on offers and any proceeds go directly to the systems to help improve them and make them better for you guys. So if you guys are ever in the market for alarms, I got... A ton of simplex equipment, some EST equipment, system sensor equipment. Um, I think those are my big three brands. Some Fike. Um, so if you guys are ever interested, go ahead and check out my eBay account. And I have tons of devices as well as some other stuff up for sale. So go ahead and reset the panel. And I think that was everything on the system besides the one smoke detector in the back room, but we're not going to do that today. So, we'll just go ahead and do a supervisory test from the key switch. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.